Hello students, welcome to Teach You Smart. Let's continue our journey through Introduction to Graphs. Now, as we all know, a line graph is a type of graph that displays data as a series of points connected by straight line segments. It is often used to visualize a trend in data over time intervals. Today we are going to see some applications of line graph. Let's see an example. The following line graph shows the yearly sales figures for a manufacturing company. Observe the graph carefully and answer the following questions. What were the sales in 2002 and 2006? Compute the difference between the sales in 2002 and 2006. In which year was the greatest difference between the sales as compared to its previous year? Let's answer the questions one by one. The first question is, what were the sales in 2002 and 2006? Sales in 2002 were 4 million and sales in 2006 were 8 million. Next, compute the difference between the sales in 2002 and 2006. We got the sales in 2002 as 4 million and in 2006 as 8 million. Therefore, the difference between the sales in 2002 and 2006 was 8 minus 4 equals 4 million. Now, we move to the next question. In which year was the greatest difference between the sales as compared to its previous year? From the graph, we can see that the sales figures for each year were as in 2002, the sales were 4 million. In 2003, the sales were 7 million. In 2004, the sales were 6 million. In 2005, the sales were 10 million. And in 2006, the sales were 8 million. By taking the sales difference between the consecutive years, we get the sales difference between 2002 and 2003 was 3 million. The sales difference between 2003 and 2004 was 1 million. The sales difference between 2004 and 2005 was 4 million. The sales difference between 2005 and 2006 was 2 million. And we can observe the greatest difference in sales between 2005 and 2004. That is, as compared to the previous year, the greatest difference in sales was found in 2005. Now, we move to another example. Study the graph carefully and answer the given questions. Find the total number of male participants. Find the total number of female participants. In which year, the difference in the number of male and female participants was the greatest. Here also, let's answer the questions one by one. The first question is, find the total number of male participants. Here we have to find the number of male participants. In the graph, the solid line represents number of male participants. Therefore, the number of male participants in each year was 100. 90, 160, 100, 140, 150, 150, and 150. Adding these values, we get the total number of male participants as 1,040. Next, find the total number of female participants. Here also we can write the number of female participants from the dotted line. They were 
20, 40, 50, 60, 80, 100, 120, and 120. Adding these values, we get the total number of female participants as 590. Then, in which year, the difference in the number of male and female participants was the greatest. By taking the difference in number of male and female participants in each year, we can see. In 1983, the difference was 80. In 1984, the difference was 50. In 1985, the difference was 110. In 1986, the difference was 40. In 1987, the difference was 60. In 1988, the difference was 50. In 1989, the difference was 30 and in 1990, also the difference was 30. So, by observing all these differences, we can say that the greatest difference was in the year 1985, which is 110. That is, the difference in the number of male and female participants was the greatest in 1985. Before winding up, let's check how much you understood by doing an activity. The following graph shows the temperature of Renu at different times. Read this graph carefully and answer the given questions. First, what is the information being conveyed by this graph? Second, when did Renu have the highest temperature? And the third is, when did Renu have the lowest temperature? That's all for now. See you all in the next class.